Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. I'm going to show you another quick top tip today. Now this is one that I am sure many of you already know, but I bet you there's one or two of you out there that don't. Have you thought or heard about piecing before? It's really useful if you've got lots of little bits that need to be dealt with. So for instance, the bag that I'm making has two little tabs and it has two long pieces of fabric, all of which need to have one edge top stitched down. Now I could start at one end, sew to the bottom, lift up my presser foot, lift up my needle, pull out my fabric, cut off my threads and start again with my second piece. But instead I'm going to do all four pieces in one go. Let me show you how. So you're going to sew your first piece of fabric and when you reach the bottom you're simply going to slide your next piece under the presser foot and carry on sewing. And when you reach the end, if you need to do back tacks for whatever it is that you're doing, you can do it. But just make sure you end back up on the end of your fabric. You can then take the next piece, slide it under the press of it, and carry on sewing. And when you finish, lift up the needle, lift up the press of it. You can then cut your threads. All you then need to do is take your scissors, snip the joining threads and separate all your pieces. So you've joined however many pieces into one long strip, cut them off, but they have all been edge stitched or whatever stitching you were doing. It's called piecing, as I say, many of you will have seen it before, especially if you're quilters. It's a really handy way of joining all those little pesky tiny scraps together. Um, but it's something that quite often I forget to do, and I do find myself sewing each piece individually, and it's not till after I've sewn them that I think, you could have pieced that, Claire. It's the same with overlocking. If you've got loads of small pieces of fabric to overlock before you sew your garment together, you can just piece them. Um, you can have three or four bits on the go and just keep going and keep going and then just snip them all apart um, once you've overlocked all the various areas. So I hope you found that little tip helpful. I will see you again really soon. Bye!